Hey guys, today I'll be showing you um, my new build. This is the Ultra Cannon. So um, it has 24 rockets. It has an extra gun here, uh, basically a machine gun, laser blasts down here. Um, and when I was building it, I forgot that I even put a solar panel here. So when I was talking to myself, I was like, I'm thinking of of saving the environment in war so that's kind of weird um this is how far it can go so it can even shoot backwards and then it just goes here and i've even made a handle can you see these on each side just hold them and lift them, lift it so this cannon um is very easy to take off it's just hold it's just held by one stud I'm going to show you how to make it, so. Okay, let's stop. So, if you want to make it, these are the pieces you'll need for the build, so let's stop. So, you get this, and then another one of these triangles gets two black these put them on so it doesn't really matter which color so yeah and then we get this put diagonal like that and then put one of these studs with a hole so you can put the the, the machine gun on the actual front bit so yeah and then you turn it backwards put this in the slope and put it on and by the way, it's really not supposed to be on here. Uh, well, it is, but when it's in, when, when the enemy is too close, it either shoots with this, and as well, this just slides off, goes on the floor, starts shooting. It it's supposed to rotate like this, and then it can even like slide, and you can easily just put it back. Um, so these, this does, so it has, um, can't really build it, so I have made little, um, attachments to it, so you can easily build it, so, like, the bits that cause it down, well, I'm not going to take them off, um, you can just take the hinge off, take these handle pieces off, or shield and shields for like the actual vehicle <laughs> mini things i don't know what they are but um and then we have got this frag attachment like this uh this attachment there are lots of small little attachments so it makes it way easier to build as you can see it looks very very weird and obviously i'm not gonna really take the tags off so here it looks without all the attachments so it looks pretty weird it looks mostly like a people carrier without any studs or people actually um and then it simply just click click Click, click, and then click, click, well this, like that. Um, I'm not really sure what, uh, so it is very big if I get a mini fig, but uh, never. So I got my minifig, as you can see, um, the minifig is like, this is kind of a bit bigger than the tire, but look how giant this monster really is. Um, I didn't really make it for the, for the minifig to go on it, it's really remote control, I didn't really make it remote, um, so yeah, um, I didn't put a minifig, I didn't make a space for the minifig, because Obviously, um, 24 cannons, uh, might make the minifigs ear hurt. Because it's very loud. And it's a multi-cannon, because, um, as I said, it's got, um, 
and it's a multi-cannon rocket launcher so basically this is the multi-cannon because uh, as you can see there's like 24 30 centimeter rockets because i measured it with my ruler it's 30 centimeters roughly roughly um i'm not too sure because i did measure it yesterday i didn't i actually measured it yesterday so so um it is oh it's 15 yeah 15 15 silly me um but i guess it's 30 millimeters or three one thousand one hundred fifty and oh, never mind um so when you like do this as in like play with it when you're trying to make like the rocket smooth you don't really have to do like this you just it moves like itself because like in real life when rockets move the cannon literally goes like this it goes like it has 24 rockets so i'm assuming who whoever's in front will be like can have a way to escape because 24 rockets that are literally 15 centimeters this minifig uh i don't know but um it's very short like it's four bricks high so this is 15 centimeters and it, so yeah uh i'm assuming it wouldn't really uh have time to run away or dodge so <laughs> that's the bad thing if you're on the other side so um so the way it shoots um it targets because there's a bit of a uh this is the place where it um targets and um it literally targets on the um place they're shooting it's not like it just goes straight actually as in the enemies over there like this is the enemy um and and or the enemy is there the rocket doesn't go like this it goes like this it literally hits it so it's a target lock um so it doesn't really go like straight but it can go straight if you want it to um by the way i put like this this bit so it cools down and with the energy of the sun it the the rockets um charge back up so instead of just taking all these studs one by one off i just put like this tile so i can just take it off and then it like charges, and then put this back on when it's charged like that so you don't really need to like um have a stressful stress stressful time taking these studs off putting them back on um so yeah i have made other um like military stuff so like i've made this jeep see it's right there you can simply put the minifigure on um um and yeah i'll just go and get another thing that i've made but it's small so 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 guys i got all my military stuff that i've made um as you can see all three of them together is no match for this giant so if you want to see me building these, um, I will obviously build build them in another video. I'm just making a comparison of how big this monster is and how tiny these tiny thing uh, military stuff are. So yeah, um, if you're wondering what this is, I basically made a version of this guy, but to put a minifigure in. So take the minifigure off this time i just use the clips not any hinges because hinges are like for something heavy otherwise if i just put these clips it'll just go if i if i held it like this it'll just go 
but with hinges it literally stays so yeah and if i put hinges on something light it will be hard to just hinge it but if it's heavy it you can easily just do it so yeah so this version i put a minifigure and then this tiny version of the tank it can spin around I put a frying pan instead of a gun because I had uh, pi a pistol because I couldn't find it and besides over here I put like a bit of a storage area so I've got a pistol on there so I can just take the pistol put it on here instead of this frying pan <laughs> it's funny I put a frying pan for a weapon on a tank. Um, but yeah, um, since it's small, um, who really um, minds if I just put a frying pan on? Because I need some weapons for my minifigs, obviously. So yeah. So this Jeep is the biggest of them all. It can at least, I'll say at least... Mm -hmm. five minifigs on that because one day i was um making uh, i made this and then um it's slowly supposed to put four minifigs on it and then my mom said is this a bus or something because i literally put minifigs on these i put a minifigure back here i put a minifigure i don't know um standing like on here 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 even on the window that's how many minifigs I just put on something regular. That's quite a lot of minifigs. So. These are for later videos. So, if you guys like it, subscribe to see my videos. Bye, guys.